Hi guys, I'm Michelle Wright with the Cow Whispers Creative Cards.com and I'm an independent Stampin' Up demonstrator. Oh, today we're playing, I can't talk, with the Painted Poppies bundle. Love it. It comes with the Painted Poppies stamp set and the Painted Labels dies. Now, real quick, before we get started, I want to make sure that you understand in your catalog, you've got the Peaceful Poppy Suite, Okay. So you've got the Painted Poppies bundle here on page 25, and you've got the Peaceful Moments bundle. I'm going to be using the sentiments from the Peaceful Moments bundle along with the Painted Poppies bundle. It's important for you to understand that these two bundles complement each other, okay? They don't coordinate as far as any of these dies with this set and vice versa. They complement each other, but they are fabulous. They work gorgeous together, as you can see in all the pictures on page 24. So I just want to make sure that you understand that. We're also using the Peaceful Poppies Designer Series paper today. And we're going to be creating this card right here. Do you love it? The paper is amazing. And so see, I'm using this die and I'm using this die. And as always, in the top of the eye and below in the description, you're gonna find links back to the blog post with all the measurements and all the supplies for this card. So no worries about writing anything down. I'm gonna be using this uh, stamp and this stamp. Now I did use the splash and I stamped off multiple times with my memento for uh, behind this one. I'm not going to do that this time. You guys decide which one you like the best. It's going to be totally up to you. So let's just go ahead and get started. Here's the inside. Don't you love the poppies? They are amazing. So let's get our stamping done right from the get-go. Let's go ahead and bring in our Memento Tuxedo Black. This is Thick Whisper White. Very important that you use the thick because we are using Stampin' Blends. And because this is a large stamp, I'm going to go ahead and take my ink to the stamp, get that lined up, and get that down. Press, get a good impression. Pop poppies are all the rage right now. You got to love the poppies. And then I've got the tall poppy. I'm gonna put this over here in this corner. Just like such. And this is thick also because I'm using the blends on that. So remember that. Now we can move that ink for this moment and let's go ahead and start coloring. I will tell you that I'm using my Poppy Parade Light and Dark. Calypso Coral, light and dark, and Old Olive, light and dark, because those colors coordinate with the gorgeous, gorgeous designer series paper. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to alternate, and I'm doing my dark along the base of some of the flowers, and I'm picking some of the smaller flowers, and I'm putting it in there too. This is the Dark Poppy Parade. And then I will come back and I will Use the Calypso Coral and just follow that same thought process where I'm going to be putting some of the dark in the center and then hitting it with the light. So let me go ahead and do that. I will speed up the video just a little bit. Now I'm moving on to my light and we'll go from there. All right, I gotta tell you, I picked up the light Poppy Parade instead of the light Calypso Coral. So I went back and just did the dark at the tip of that and I think it looks beautiful. So we're gonna go with that. Now let's go ahead and put our card together. I used the same piece of Poppy Parade Designer Series paper. This is the Peaceful Poppies designer series paper. Peaceful Poppies, see, it's got the gorgeous on one side, 
Oh, love it. So let's go ahead and I'm using my Tombow just because I want to have some wiggle room. You know, I'm a big fan of the Tombow when you've got close edges. So let's go ahead and just, I got a little high on that. So I'm going to take it and push it up. So some of that will come off. You get a little heavy handed with your liquid adhesive. That's a good way. Just kind of start farther down and then you can kind of get it over a little. So we've got that and now this is going to go underneath it. So I just cut that in half and then cut it in an inch and a half, I believe is what I did. But like I said, I'll have all the measurements on my blog for the exact. So we've got that. Now I have a strip of basic black. So let's get that down. That's gonna cover up my seam. Just like that. Get that good and straight. Alrighty, now on this one I used the thank you from the uh, Peaceful Moments. That's that coordinating set. But I'm going to do Life is Better with a Friend Like You in this one. So I recommend that you go ahead and stamp this first. And you'll see why in just a second. And let's go ahead and line that up. And I want it down right about there. Pretty good. Now, let's go ahead and bring in the element we cut out. Now, I will tell you, I used some uh, double-sided adhesive. We don't sell that anymore, but you can get that on Amazon, and I think it just worked really well with this. So I'm just kind of grabbing it in the middle there, and I'm gonna try and pull away. And I've just got some tweezers here, so let's see how lucky we get with this. Maybe we can just get it to all pull away. Not too shabby. Let's brush those out of the way. We've got a few pieces here we don't need. They do have adhesive on them if you use that, so watch watch for that. There's one more. That looks good. Really good. So now you can see why I wanted to go ahead and do that first, because I don't want to cover any of that up, but I want to stay to this side. So we're just going to put that down just like that. And then we're going to take our poppies and we're going to pop those up with some dimensionals. And you know what I say about dimensionals, they're a penny a piece. So don't be sparing on them. You don't want it caving in in the middle. Put one in the middle, one on each side. Grab your take your pick tool to get those backs off really quickly. Just stick them and flick. That one was being contrary. All right, so you can decide. Do you like the one with the splash behind it? And let's put that right about there. So pretty. And last but not least, we'll put our inside down. I'm about running out of my, gonna have to open another one. Good thing is I know where I can buy more when I run out and you can too. Let's put that on. Oh man, I just love the poppies. I hope you guys do too, cause I'm going to be playing with these sets a lot. I got that a little crooked. Let's slide that down just a smidge and over just a smidge. Then we can push it down. So pretty. There we go. And now we can put our front on. I know you guys are going to want to add this bundle. I would add them both, really. 
They complement each other so well. They work gorgeously together, bits and pieces from each. You cannot go wrong. So what do you think? With the splash, without the splash? I don't know, pretty cool. So remember, we used the Painted Poppies bundle today and the sentiments from the Peaceful Moments. And then we used the dies, painted label dies. Mm, love it. If you enjoyed today's video, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you live in the United States and you're looking for an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to be your gal and sure appreciate your business. As always, I've listed two more videos at the end of this one that I think you may enjoy. I hope you have a wonderful day and happy crafting.